going on guys, it's your boy Jay back again with the Crimson Camry and today what we'll be doing is installing the new Yofer diffuser with the brake light uh, to the 2020 20 Toyota Camry um, all cameras doesn't really matter this diffuser come in gloss black I took it to a body shop and got it paint matched so it can uh, look pretty much as factory with the bumper it's going to look really good so supersonic red or uh, midnight black metallic put in the sun you can kind of see it it's kind of dusty too but i'll clean up after i finish installing it so i'm going to show you how to put this diffuser on because it's a little bit different from uh the v2 diffuser um also it has a brake light so i have to show you on what you need to do you probably have to pop that bumper down to get that brake light underneath okay the main part about this video is showing you how to wire these brake lights to your tail lights so that it, the brake light is functional. This tape right here actually came, this little sticky back came with the uh, kit. It goes on the brake light so it can stay stuck to the bumper. Um, I would prefer like a screw, but you know, I got no other choice. So I'm praying that this is actually pretty strong or not. I'm gonna have to uh, get that fixed as soon as possible. And as always, I use 0.5 with 3M tape on anything when it evolves, the fuses, spoiler, pretty much anything. This is the best of width you can uh, get. It's perfect. And another thing is that this diffuser does not, you cannot buy it by itself. So these side spats right here come with the diffuser. Let me get you the other one. Uh, these are authentic Yofer side spats. You put it on. The, the side spats go like something like right here, but never mind that. I'm not showing you how to install side spats because that does not matter. Back to the diffuser. So the part we're going to be cleaning with the uh, alcohol is going to be right here. And then along this side right here. And then we're probably going to put some tape somewhere right here for that to hold to. Although this diffuser is perfectly made, um, way better than the V2 diffuser. or clean this side too. All right, so we're not gonna create no hole in the bumper for the wire and the diffuser. Um, we're gonna put it underneath and wire it just come up through here and like reach like over here to one of the tail lights. So we're just gonna uh, take these off right here and then we're gonna prop the bumper down right here. All right, so after you take this off, put them around here, you're gonna get a 10 millimeter as always. You wanna take these out. bumper should is not gonna come completely off because the tabs underneath but this is what we want right here right. we want this amount of space that way we could get the uh the wiring up through here take this side off first place it on here you gonna run your wires through this hole right here. All right, and grab it from the other side. It's easier. All right. I'm gonna take this wire and we're gonna run it underneath. Underneath, another thing you need to do. So obviously you see these holes right here. Common sense that these holes match up with the holes that's underneath the bumper. So you wanna go ahead and take those off. So this one right here, I can tell you right now, is the one that's all the way right here. Okay. There we go. Uh, take this wire and feed it up through here. So I'm gonna grab it. Is actually pretty damn long. Oh. 
didn't do that one right. Nope. Alright, so it gave me a hard way to go, but um, the cushions are in. This right here is kind of too long, but I made it work and it works. Cushions right here, and then the one is all the way down here. Alright, so that's what you're looking at underneath. Now, up top, this is what it looks like. Fitment is way better. You don't, you're not relying on this lip right here. It kind of just sits flush against with the bumper. Like, I really like the design they got going on right here. All right. And you see why I paint matched it? Because from afar, it looked like it's part of the diffuser or the OEM diffuser. The wire, the wire is long enough for you to stretch it all the way over here. Now, if you see me do my reflector light video, we ran it through this gasket right here. So we're gonna open this up. Run it through here. And then from the inside, you gotta take off this panel right here. You guys seen that already. Uh, you're gonna prop this open over here. Oh, it's supposed to come out. And the gasket is sitting all the way down here. After you get the wire uh, through here, and you put the gas back properly and get your rear bumper completely back on. That way you can get that out of the way. All right guys, so fast forward to about 30, 45 minutes later. Um, I hooked up the brake light. I already showed you that you put it through here. You're gonna bring it through the rubber gasket over here. And I didn't hook it directly to the tail light because my reflector lights colors were red, white, and blue or black, red, and white rather i'm sorry and i was like well this seems more reasonable for me so like i'm just going to use the reflected light just because the colors are pretty much damn near identical so pretty much <clears throat> the black go to black we always know ground is always black black goes to black no questions asked now trial and error uh the white wire to the brake light goes to this red wire to my reflector light uh, re re reflector light harness and then the red wire to the brake light goes to the blue wire of the reflector light so after all that works uh you don't and i was messing with the white one too that's why i got electrical tape on that one too but um after all that i figured it out everything works uh the brake light just has a uh, running light function which is the it's the red wire. The red wire goes to that. The white wire is the brake light. And the ground is out, obviously, the power. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get somebody to record this for me so I can show you what, the, what it looked like when it's on and what the brake light looked like. It has no strobe function, which is completely fine. I don't want no flashing strobe for my uh, diffuser. I already have the reflector lights that, like, do an emanation every time I brake. So, I don't need too much to sh uh, shrekner for the drivers. So here's the final look, uh, just so you can see the fitment. Um, this right here kind of shows a little bit of tape, but it's not gonna show in pictures. It, it's attached up here, pretty tight, nothing's moving. I haven't had any issues within the ne next last 30 minutes. Then you got over here. I think I put the tape too far out, that's why you can see it. So, which is not a huge big deal. I'm not really stressing about that. I'm cool off that. You know, this could be a little bit better, but. I'm not stressing. Um, like I said, in pictures, you know, it will look perfect. Um, you know, you got to realize that when you're dealing with aftermarket parts, it will never be perfect. But yeah, diffuser is on. So yeah, I'm the first person to two-tone the new Yofer diffuser um, in any two-tone color, I think. Well, actually, XSC Steady uh, two-toned the white and black, but he did it a different way. He did it kind of the opposite. So, um, but yeah, I'm the first one to two-tone it that way. It looks very good. I highly recommend you do it. 
It looks more uh, OEM with the bumper. Um, looks more aggressive, looks more bulky. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Till next time, deuces.